This is Katharina, um, who's been working in on the Hunlab Island for three months. We're just filming this too. Yep. This is Katharina, who's been working for three months on the Hunlab Island, doing a um, harvesting residency. Uh, and part of the results of that will be shown, but we show it today. So Katharina wanted to speak and has some slides to show uh, in regards to what she's been doing on the island and some of the ideas behind the work. Okay. Can you hear me well? Yes. Yes? Okay. So I'm Katerina Garusus. I'm from Athens, Greece. I, I am a PhD student. I'm a part of the uh, Plante Collegium, and I, which, where I'm doing my PhD with Roy Ascot as a supervisor. Uh, so uh, I was uh, made, I was able to make this re residency uh, in Sagan Life in Yosuke's uh, platform. Um, the outcomes were the outcome were really exciting, so uh, I'd be glad to share with you uh, the results of it. So, uh, uh, for the first uh, part of it, I'd like to uh, show you some kind of uh, PowerPoint presentation, some slides, and later on uh, there is uh, a 10 minutes video, and if you have some questions, we can discuss it later. Okay? So I am now share with you the, the PowerPoint. Is it okay? Yes. Okay. Now, uh, my research, my PhD research, addresses the fundamental question whether we should give the opportunity to visual strategies of late antiquity, which has suffered from scan attention and discontinuity up to now, to have a real dialectic relation with new media forms of imagery, rather than for us to be resistant to conventional forms, echoes of Renaissance and Enlightenment periods. The research method is based on the analysis of the elements that once constructed the framework of late antiquity imagery and their embedding in recent imagery practices and theories as a system of signification, efficient enough to build a new platform of visual awareness. For that purpose, a virtual environment of Second Life has been chosen so to implant late adequacy aspects. This online virtual world, developed by Linden Lab, was launched on June 2003. Despite its intention of virtuality, the platform has been carried most of our real life pathologies. Linden Lab is a privately held American internet company. As reported in Wikipedia, the company employs numerous established high tech veterans including former executives from Electronic Arts, eBay, Disney, Adapt, and Apple. Linden Lab has elicited both compliments and curiosity for its unconventional corporate culture, which is based on a non-hierarchical system where employers are usually self-directed and transparent in their work. Even if this sounds, even if this sounds interesting, Second Life reflects all our real life problems. Within 10 years, this platform managed to create it in its virtual space the same construction tactics, the same trends, and the same notion of overlapping sharing. Seal regions is what Second Life called seals, although this meaning is de depreciated because it is a vicarage. Precisely, a region is simulated to be a seam process running on a seam mount as the physical server machine simulating the regions. However, it is clear enough that the platform is dealing with the concept of simulation and Linden Lab gives the credentials that Second Life 
is the most advanced dimension of simulator planning. In simulator and simulacra, both Liao identifies, identifies three types of simulacra that correspond to three historical periods. First order, associated with the pre-modern period, where the image is clearly an artificial representation of the real item. Second order, associated with the modernity of the industrial revolution, where distinctions between image and reality break down due to the explosion of mass reproducible copies of items. And third order, associated with the postmodernity, where the simulacrum precedes the original and the distinction between reality and representation vanishes. There is only the simulacrum, and originality becomes a totally meaningful concept. However, second life can be undoubtedly put a big place in the first order of the gas types of simulacrum, thus, the order associated with the pre-modern period, where the image is clearly an artificial representation of the real life. Nevertheless, scrolling far beyond the pre-modern period, one could meet highly involved artificial virtualization that are far from even the last and more advanced category of photos. Hence, the goal was to find a co convergence in these virtualities, even if they are far away in time. Yosuke's project was a real opportunity for me because it gave me the ability to integrate a digital concept that are not easily fit, even in our physical platform, due to their misapprehended version. Entering into the Yosuke's platform, I brought together four concepts that were significant during the archaic and late antiquity periods, and in place with this, the dominant special temporal principles. These concepts are all based on a backbone called logos. Originally, the word means a ground, a word, a speech, an argument. It is being widely used for ancient philosophers to analytical philosophers as Carl Jung. However, logos has a semantic field extending beyond its interpretation as word or proportion to the notion of the divine as well as to the communicated impulse between the seen and the unseen. Dial argues that this logos holds always, but human always prove unable to understand it, both before hearing it and when they have first heard it. For though all things come to be in accordance with this logos, humans are like the inexperienced when they experience such words and deeds, as I said out, distinguishing it in accordance with its nature and saying how it is. But other people fail to notice what they do when awake, just as they forget what they do while asleep. Maybe recently, through the information and communication technologies, as well as through the new theories generated by research, we're in a position to approach logos. However, in order to move towards it, we should get rid of visual inertia that we're facing using the classical mechanism of awareness. All four concepts used in this virtual space in Yoshihei's uh, platform replace the classical structure of consciousness to test the possibilities of Logos perspective. In general, the concepts are as follows. First, fabula or me. The term fabula pertains to the imagin imaginative sphere, image simulation translation, and to the mythopoeic. Fabula itself is often used by the 12th century thinkers, thinkers sorry, to mean myth, though it can also extend more widely to fiction. However, fabula is not a fairy tale. It is a hyperconscious phenomenon, and to be effective, it must obtain immediacy, which is something that we cannot currently imagine. This is because it must be transplanted in a fertile environment of a vivid theory which in our times lies in the field of validation and technique. Besides, if there is no transplanting, myth takes a long time to consolidate, and it may shrink. A fabulous phenomenon distracts the viewer from the physical spatial temporal issue while it is playing an absolute instantaneous time. A 
epiphany from the Greek word epiphania, which means manifestation or striking appearance. It is a sudden realization of an essence of meaning of something. Epiphany does not need optical operations in order to be occurred. It is relevant to what it, is, has, it was mentioned before about the different meaning of view as a distinction of mind by which simultaneously gets to the past, the present, and the future. Additionally, it is related to Logos as a site of mind, which occurred and developed spontaneously. Some scientists took epiphany to be synonymous with apparitional experience, referring to an anomalous quasi-perceptual experience. Absorption. Absorption is the incorporation of the substance from one state into another of a different state. The mechanism of absorption is essential for the successful flow of logos and its dissemination into the open field of potentialities. Metamorphosis or transfiguration, the word means transformation and derives from meta, post, and morphe, form. Although the uses of the term is applied to a biological process, it has its philosophical meaning, of course. According to the Byzantine thought, Metamorphosis is a process of change from the status of the physical need to a sphere of the hyper substance. The manuscript described the transfiguration as an event which occurred in tapered light, the uncreated light, as the, as the purest form of energy. The word energia <coughs> is used exclusively from the uncreated energies, thus, the energies that don't correspond to physical principles, but rather to metaphysical uh, values that have been analyzed from Aristotle and John of Damascus, and also by many others of archaic and later decorative periods in Greece. In order to follow this second life pilgrim, one has to embrace the notion of logos in its environment. There are several symbolic special patterns, as well as some spe special entities involved in these areas that make fabula a miraculous phenomenon to be performed. In fact, they function as signs that contribute to the absorption of the miraculous phenomenon. In his book, The Medieval Imagination, Legoff proposed an inventory based on the marvelous in the medieval West. He claimed that there are some special aspects that constitute the environment of the mirabilia, miracle, according to the place and the entities that miraculous phenomena could occur. He proposed three different places as the most popular for miraculous events, which are the islands, the deserts, and the forests. He indicates that the history of the desert, here and there, before and recently, has always been made of a mosaic, including both material and mental realities. It was buying continuum between geography and symbolism, imaginary and financial, social and ideological. Hence, he equated these three places, the islands, the forest, and the deserts, putting them in a category that refers to a symbolic place of logos. As regards to the entities, Legoff mentioned that there are six categories of them, human and anthropomorphic entities, normal and imaginary, imaginary animals, the misfashion which, which are half animals, half uh, humans, the automata, which half living, half object, objects, objects that simulate physical fitness or offer super physical skills, and the last one, the historical person that, become, uh, that became a legend. Equipped with the mentioned concept, Places and entities, the research is moving on its practical implement, implementation in world. I mean, in the second life. Actually, scenes are the real equation of island, forest, deserts. Virtual islands are isolated pieces of habitat whose isolation is due to some factor and not exclusively to the factor of water surrounding them. Delos argued in his book, Desert Islands, that islands are either from before or from after humankind. And human can live on the island 
only by forgetting what the island represents. In their book, The Theory of Island Biogeography, MacArthur and Wilson point out by their very multiplicity and variation in shape, size, degree of isolation and ecology, islands provide the necessary replication in natural experiments by which evolutionary hypotheses can be tested. One can paraphrase that as Seal Island Virtual Biogeography provides necessary visualization in virtual experiments by which evolutionary hypotheses can be tested. Conclusively, projects' results are truly interesting. These two virtualities are as if they have no time gap. Even if the periods in between extremely major things happen, what has been lost is the concept of fabula and all its peripherals. It is about what St. Martin argued in his book, Semiotic of Virtue of Language, in a, bit, in a civilization dominated by logos, this oversight has largely contributed to excluding from human cons consciousness the proper correlate of visual language, namely the experience of space. Succinctly, speci speciality can be defined as an apprehension of simultaneously coexistence of multiple elements in an autonomous form of organization, which is considerably different from that of the temporal order of these elements. And here with that, and I will end that by this. We hope that in opening our way to a more accurate comprehension of one of the most important non-verbal languages, namely visual language, visual semiotics will bring to it a credibility that can provide a strong balance to the one-dimensional tendency of the Occidental logos, and in this way, promote the development of a more humanistic civilization. So, you know that you have the access to the project in musicasblogspot.com and you can purchase the book from google.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.
it is also it is a process and also an entity. That's what they they were they were talking about. So the image is not um, it's not uh, something like a material or something. And of course, it is not an aesthetic subject because aesthetics and the whole uh, concept of aesthetics um, created. Uh, created, I mean, in uh, modern times, not in archaic, and they, they, they didn't know what aesthetics meant. Aesthetics, aesthetics for them was uh, was the, the the sensibility and the uh, and the ability to 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 have the, the, this whole process with the image uh, uh, implemented. You know what I mean? It it was not the aesthetic of German. Idealism. But I'm thinking because about yeah. you say I'm thinking about Aristotle's concept of fantasia yes. that you get the, all these mm -hmm. sense impressions in print on yes. images which are inside you and which are you're supposed to to rise if you're an orator for example or rector you were supposed yes. to rise those images that were latently stored within each person's mind. So yes. it's this was the yes, yes. So aesthetic is very different from just yes. just as you say the. The aesthetics, and I think that you touches on so many interesting and very, I mean, important so, issues. Uh, of course, there is a lot of a lot of alteration to to what they believed and what us Westerns believe now, because uh, they don't, they didn't have uh, the concept of, of perspectiveness. Uh, they didn't. They didn't care about two or three or four dimensional uh, uh, spaces. They were just. They. They. They are. They were viewing all the things with the fisheye technique. Mm -hmm. uh, is similar to what plan today's planetariums do in an immersive environments, and they were all. They. They created creating their images. If, uh, if they are wall paintings or uh, 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 small portable images with the fisheye technique. So perspective for them uh, was out of the question. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, I would really like to show this again. We had the problem that the, today is the first day of term. The students are back today. Oh. <laughs> so everybody's very busy. And we've also organized this on quite short notice. But I would like to do it again sometime. And we can talk more about okay. that. I would like uh, to okay, show yeah, the film. I'd be happy to do it. Yeah. I would also appreciate it a lot. And I would, I would like to contact you because I have questions. Because this relates to what I'm doing in my research project. I'm, I'm working on a process. Uh, so it will be very nice. Thank okay, you. Okay. So yes. Jim has has the, uh, my email, so we can call on me any any time. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be Thank in, you. <laughs> we'll be in touch. We're going to set up the film so people can watch it here somehow, or we'll talk about that. I'll send you a mail, and we can talk about how we will mm -hmm. make it accessible for the week that it's that it's yes. supposed to be available. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, thank you for attending. Thank you, Jim, for your contribution. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye.